Well, hello everyone. Today I will inform you about a useful and educational website which name is Cram. It is a website to create and find flashcards about subjects that you want. You can find about medicine, education or language flashcards. You can study, memorize and test yourself on and more. You can create your own flashcard sets. Study with them and you can share these flashcards with your classmates. It means that you can find your friends or other colleagues flashcards. There is no limit to create. And this website works on both computer and mobile. And also this website includes essays and research papers about many topics. As you can see, there are several essays. For example, just click on the Antigone essay and many essays show up in the page. You can use them for your research or interest about that topics or if you have a topic in your mind just write your topic in here and click the search and here are the related research papers. When you go up the beginning of the page again just click on the home page and there are options like flashcards, create flashcards, iPhone, Android and essays and choose whatever you want and go to related page. So in the first page when you click the site you can search a topic that you want. For example, body parts. Just click the search and you can find flashcards without signing in. And as you can see, there is a search only part and you can select only title, content, subject or author or you can search about according to image or if you want according to your dates. For example, if you just want to search only according to author, just write the author name here and search it. And here are the flashcards according to author. Or if you want, you can select the date. You can see the flashcards that are created today or in this week, in this month or in this year. The other option is that you can create a new flashcard set. But firstly, you have to sign in to create a flashcard set. When you are creating a flashcard set, and when you are signing up, you can select sign in with Facebook, Twitter or Google. And I have already an account, so I'm just signing in. And this is my page. So to create a flashcard, select create flashcard. And here is the related page. So, firstly, you should write your title. And secondly, you should write your subject about your title. For example, we choose parts of the house. So, we're going to write for example, living room, bedroom, bathroom and kitchen and you can write a description about it. And you can select the access. It can stay public or private. When you're creating your flashcards, if you have already a flashcard set, you can import it from here, from your Google Drive. And when you're creating your own set in this website, you should write the word to the front and back of your flashcard. You can choose any language that you want. For example, we choose English to Turkish. You can write your word in here. For example, I'm going to write living room and you can select 
this word and you can change its style for example you can do it bold or you can make it like this and you can select an image to visualize your flashcards and here is your front side of your flashcard and you can write the translation of the word for example like this now I have already created a flashcard set for you as you can see there are living room bedroom kitchen and bathroom and if you want you can add a new card or press tab when you finish all of them you can just select create set and here is your flashcard set. With your flashcard set, you can memorize the vocabulary, test yourself, and you can use the flashcards to play a game. From your keyboard, you can navigate between flashcards with the help of right and left arrow keys, or up and down arrow keys. You can flip the card between the front and back, and if you want, you can use H and A key. To begin, click or press spacebar. In the flashcard column, teachers ask students to find the meaning of the word and by clicking the flip button, they preview the back of the flashcards. You can shuffle, alphabetize, you can see the front or both sides first. For example, like this. In the memorize column, again, press spacebar to begin. You can work with the vocabulary. It shows the front of the flashcard and you try to remember its meaning. When you click the see answer button, you can check whether you are right or wrong. In the test column, there are question formats such as matching, written, multiple choice and true or false. You can select any of them and you can test your students or if you're a student you can check yourself for example you can choose multiple choice and if you're a student or a teacher when you're grading yourself or your students you can ignore punctuation spaces or things in parentheses or you can use your flashcards front or back as a prompt and you can indicate the question limit in here so click the make a new test and here are the multiple choice questions for example it says banyo and you can select according to them and after finishing your test you can get the answers from here and here is your test results and in the games column There are two games, but one of them shouldn't contain images, so we can play Javas of Wisdom. And students will love it, and they can learn new vocabulary with the help of these games. So click the play game. It says bedroom, and students can select the translation of the word, and they can visualize it. And this is the end of the game. So, back to the cram. I hope this video helps you to learn more about cram and how to use it. And I hope you have enjoyed it. Goodbye. You can use cram in your mobile phone. Firstly, you should download the application to your phone. And then, you should sign in with your username and password. As you can see, there are several options like My Flashcards, Recently Studied and My Favorite Sense, and you can change the setting, get feedback and sign out. 
When you click to create flashcards again, you should write your title. You can add subjects. And add a description about it. You can set the access and you can choose the language, for example, English to Turkish. And if you want, you can add a hint. At the front side, you should write your word. And add a picture to it. At the back, you can write the translation of the word. And you should have at least three cards to work with them. After finishing them, you can click on My Flashcards and you can work with them. You will see the front of the flashcards. And when you click on them, you will see the back of them. If you want, Eyes. you can hear the pronunciation of words. You can memorize them and make your students memorize it and check your students whether they memorize it or not. And again, you can play the game. As you know, this is the funniest way to memorize and work with the words. And finally, you can sign out from the application. Another? Yes, Emara. A play or a map. 